You know, number one cause of death in abor is abortion in Texas. Okay. I just want to tell you the number one cause of death in Texas is abortion. Oh yeah, I'm against abortion too. Right? So what we're asking is these Christians, like how are we against it, right? Like how, what do you do? Uh, I just don't like it. I don't like the idea of it. That's a good moral opinion, right? It's a good yeah. opinion. Like we all have that opinion. Well, yeah. But what God has convicted us through his word mm -hmm. is that we have to do more than just an opinion, right? Well, yeah. Right. I'm 15. I can't do that. Understandable, understandable. However, we're trying to teach even our kids to stand up for the voiceless, right? To stand up for the unborn, whatever that looks like in your life. That could mean calling other Christians. That could mean in front of an abortion mill, right? That could be going to vote when you are 18. Like, it's just raising awareness, right? Yeah. And if the Christians would do something about it, it would be illegal in the state. Well, I think because there's so many people that, there's like certain circumstances, I think, like, if you were raped as a 15 year old, I get it's not the best that you can Yeah, but I bet that raped baby that was conceived in rape wouldn't think that way. Well, yeah. I, I know a lot of baby, ba like, well, yeah. that were conceived in rape and they wouldn't think that. Well, yeah, I'm not saying, but it's more for the mother's sake. It's just something, like... But isn't there a redemptive, doesn't Jesus redeem us, right? And so, yes, we got raped and it's going to be hurtful and it's going to be, because I was raped. Now, I didn't get pregnant thank the Lord, but there is redemption nature, right, in Jesus Christ. And so I know it wasn't my fault, and I've been, that guy can deal on his own, right? Yeah. But if I would have got conceived, it wouldn't have been that child's fault. And so yeah, no. I don't think that's a, a good enough reason to kill, it, to murder a child. I don't think people do abortion when they get raped because they blame the child or blame, they just, they can't handle the, because they, I don't know. But it's not the baby's fault, right? It's not. But why well, murder? Crazy. Like you wouldn't murder like a two-year-old standing in front of you. So why would you murder the baby? Like, believe me, my kids are a lot of trouble. I'm not gonna murder them because they're too much trouble. Yeah. Right. But some, it's just mental. And plus, like, there's this thing. I don't know if it's true, but it's like when it gets to medicalists, they usually just try to save the mother first, then the child. And, and like, yeah, there it's is like mothers first, then child. Yeah. And that is the doctors that will say that, right? Yeah. But in God's world right which i hope that you follow <laughs> his world he created that we're all created the same we're all made in god's image right no matter mom's not any more valuable than the baby so and god is greater than any medical doctor and there's a very small percentage that the women actually die from giving birth so yeah. but is it worth murdering a child just because you want to save another human being that's not as the cornerstone the, the of the orphan is Because there are moved. some, very rare, but there the are some that if right. it's most common that the child and mother are going to die if she tries. Oh, to to you, pass the niche it is to create. <laughs> yeah, if you have yeah. something, yeah, just talk to me, it's okay. I think there's something about the church, um, they saved like 2,000 unborn babies last year. Who? The, this church. How'd they do that? With volunteers and like so, so just so you know, so Roe versus Wade went 40 plus years ago, right? Mm -hmm. And so now it's legal here in the state of Texas to abort babies. And these pregnancy centers such as these have been around all that time. Nope. It hasn't stopped it, right? We're asking church, you need to stop it. Like you gotta just make it illegal. Stand up and say, it is wrong, it is murder. And if a mother murders their child, they are a murderer. That's, I mean, now there's redemptive nature within Jesus Christ, right? So there's that part, but you have to understand that's murdering a baby. No matter what the circumstances are, yeah. It is, yeah. And the church, yes. Are they doing good things? Most likely. Are we doing enough? No. Absolutely not. It needs to be illegal. And you young people, you're the next generation, right? So if you guys can say, we're going to make it illegal in our generation, that's what we're asking. You know, it hasn't been. It's been 40 years. How many thousands of people go to this church? If these people would stand up, and say we want it to be illegal, not pro-life. Pro-life is different, right? I don't know if you guys understand the difference between pro-life and make it illegal. Pro-life is we're gonna regulate when, how, and where babies are murdered. So you can't murder them if they have a heartbeat, but you can before that. That's pro-lifeism, right? What we're saying is, no, you just make it illegal. Even if everyone at this church votes, that's like only in Dallas though? Correct. So you would have to spread the message. It would be a good Thank you. That's what we're saying. If Christians would rise up and do what the Bible says, this nation would change. There are too many pew warmers, and you guys have to agree with me here. They just come to church and leave and just go live life. They don't walk. You don't. They don't walk under God. Correct. 
So we're asking people to be followers. That's and it's hard to stand out here. We don't like being people getting mad at us. And but here's the thing: these babies didn't like to get murdered. And so we're saying, come on, Christians, you guys know it's wrong. Do something more about it. Stand up against it. Don't say that it's okay if they're raped or it's okay if that. That's no, it's not okay. Well, it's not okay at all. I was Correct. Told, but in that circumstance, I can kind of visualize why they would want. Like, if I could, it's just a mistake. And I was mind. there too. I was. I. Most people get because, end up forgetting it. Yeah. He, Correct. Yeah. Yes, and that's the people that get most mad at us are post the board of women. Why? It's because they're still convicted that they murdered a child. So um, well, I appreciate you guys talking to us because I'm hoping it's going to make you think, you know, convict your heart a little bit of do I do enough? Does my family do enough? Do my friends do enough? You know, um, there's not many Christians at the abortion mills trying to stop these ladies. There's not. There's a lot of Catholics, not a lot of Christians. There's not a lot of Christians at the state legislation trying to make it illegal. Well, there's different kinds of Christianity and maybe some of those Christian, like Methodists and stuff. Maybe they don't really... Hey, if they're following the word of God, they should be there, right? Like, some... like if you think this is wrong, you probably should be there. Well, yeah. As much as you can. Not everybody can, of course. I understand that. We have obligations in life, but you could do something. Oh, well, yeah. You could do something. Yeah. That's all we're asking. We're asking the church to rise up. Don't sit in the pews and think, yes, it's wrong and I have a good opinion about it and I'm going to vote. Because voting pro-lifeism is not going to stop it. All that's doing is say you can, you can kill some babies. Because there was a bill that actually just went into place last year that said we want to make it illegal. There's only a thousand people there to stand up for it. Guaranteed, if your pastor stood up and talked about that, there would be thousands more there. And said, so there's a bill coming because he has a lot of influence, right? Oh, yeah. And he's a good pastor, from my understanding. is, And the sermons I've watched, they're not bad. But we're just saying, if he stood up and said, there's a bill coming, and us Christians need to stand up and stand there and make it illegal, it would be. Not just this church, but all pastors here in the DFW area. And then it just spreads from there. Right? That's all we're saying. I hope it makes sense. Yeah, it does. Okay. I appreciate you guys stopping. Good and luck on your cause. <laughs> Well, it's God's cause. It's not mine. <laughs> so, all right. God bless you guys. Have a great day.